Good morning, Rioteers. It is winter. Oh. That it's, I mean, it's January, so obviously it's supposed to be winter, but here, where I live, uh, it's only been winter for a few weeks. Snow, you know, we, we had our first, like, major, major snowfall, freezing rain, whole city becomes a wasteland kind of thing. Uh, you know, just after New Year's, which was great that it took that long. I will let you in on a non-secret. I hate winter. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Okay, well, I don't hate snowballs, and I don't hate snowmen, and I don't hate tobogganing. What I hate is that moment when you step onto your driveway, and you get halfway down, and then you slip, you break your ass, and you slide down to the sidewalk like some kind of human luge. I hate that. I hate the fact that it gets so cold here. And I live in a rather temperate part of Canada. It gets so cold here that at 11 o'clock at night when I decide to walk home from something, the salt that you put down to keep things from freezing has frozen. I hate that. I hate shoveling snow. I don't even have to do it. I live in an apartment. I don't have to shovel snow anymore. But you know who does have to shovel snow? Literally everyone else. And they don't. Or at least most of them don't. And it's not because they're bad people. It's just because shoveling snow is a giant pain in the ass. I appreciate that. That's why I live in an apartment. But the problem is because they don't, I sort of waddle through hip-deep snow. These are not actually my hips, but you get the idea. You know, to get anywhere. You know, the, it, winter is the time of year when going to the store becomes a huge endeavor. You have to gird yourself against the cold and put on layers and layers of armor because if you don't, it will steal the last of your warmth like some kind of terrible roommate. That's what it's like here, by the way. Like, you look outside, and it's a frozen wasteland, and you get out there, and you're all bundled up, and you're like, okay, this is cool. I got my scarf up here, and I just, like, my glasses are fogged, and I look like some kind of crazy snow ninja. But, you know, and then, but you're warm. Like, you're, you're, you're not, well, you're not warm, but you're not cold. You're not freezing. And then here, the wind will come along, like that shitty roommate, and, and go, sup, bra, uh... Yeah, I, I, I saw that you had that body heat, but I figured that you weren't using it, so I just sort of took it. Uh, no, no, I didn't get any more. Is that a problem? And it is a problem, because, I mean, like, look, last year it got to negative 40, and I can only imagine what we're going to get to by the middle of February, or God forbid, the beginning of March, when it will still be winter here. Oh, I mean, it is so, it is so cold. That people, this is when they take their vacations. They flee the country so that they do not have to endure it. I, of course, do not flee the country. I live here, uh, and I like it here most of the time. I guess my real issue with winter, though, isn't the snow or the ice or the cold. I mean, but the cold. Like, I'm a large guy. I mean, I'm large. I can only imagine what smaller, frailer less walrus-like people have to deal with when it comes to the cold. But anyway, yeah, it's not the ice or the snow or the cold so much. The thing that bothers me about winter, the thing that I hate about winter, is powerlessness. Winter transforms my city into a place... It, 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 from a place where in the fall I could walk around and think about things, and sing to myself, or talk to my friends, and it transforms it into a place where I, I am afraid. Because everything is covered in terrifying, invisible ice. Or it could be. And people are taking safety precautions, but I have to rely on them to take those safety precautions. And so, if you're a driver, you worry that people have forgotten how to drive, because half the time they have, and at any point, the road could become a bumper car arena. But if you're a pedestrian like me, you sort of walk around taking these tiny little penguin steps and just like... Because otherwise you will slip and bust your ass and die. Or at the very least, 
be embarrassed and uncomfortable when you get to work. And this powerlessness, it robs me of the ability to just go out and explore and wander around. Even if I don't do that very often, I, I can do it even less. I know that at any point I have the option to do so. But now going out becomes an ordeal. Going anywhere. Just, it, it acquires this weight. And you spend all, I, I can't sing to myself or have thoughts or think about stories I want to write because I'm too busy thinking about how do I keep myself safe? How do I keep, you know, my, my feet on the ground? How do I keep myself warm? How do I keep myself dry? How do I keep the ice from getting in my goddamn beard and my eyebrows so I don't look like a Yeti wherever I show up? Or, you know, when I go to pull it out, half my beard comes out with it? Because that happened one time. That was not fun. I looked ridiculous. I guess the warning thought in this, such as it is, is I only have to put up with this four months of the year. Six months of the year sometimes. For some people... In some places, it is basically winter all the time. Yeah, there's an analogy in there. I'll I'll let you figure that part out. Anyway, I will see you guys on Thursday with some video games. And, yeah. Later. And yes, I have all of the usual objections to consumerism. The commercialization of an ancient religion. Westernization of a dead Palestinian press ganged into sailing PlayStations and beer. beer.